That's crazy. These rats. Oh man, they just snacking on the baby rat. We bob them. No. Mm. Rats. Let me squeeze this on. Hopefully, this don't burn me. That rice. I'm to put a little crack on this gumbo. Put these. Mm. Yeah, me munching on the side of it. Did you eat one already? Y'all missed that? Oh, I'm gonna just grab hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got season these good. For sure, for sure. It's my seafood gumbo, y'all. Got crab, shrimp, sausage, all that good stuff inside. I'm gonna take this arm to the side for right now. Because I want to get straight to the body while all the good meat at. I broke this off. It ain't have nothing on it. But here we go, right here. That's what I wanted to get to right here. Let me show, I'll show y'all this real quick. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Get that crab in there. Break that off. That's nothing but white meat right there. Mm -mm -mm. Bring this damn thing. Mm. Been soaking in there for a day. I cooked this yesterday. You know it's hot too with that cayenne pepper. My nose running. My napkin's in. Can't even touch my stuff. And he. Yeah, I'm gonna finish with the rats now. Let's go back to it. Some of that. Got a little more meat in there. Damn, he's wild enough with a hole. Mm. That rice with that, mm. I season that too. Mm. <coughs> These crabs that I bought y'all was from a little, I'm out here in Houston, Texas, so I went to uh, Kima to get these, and they just so juicy, full of meat, full of meat. That gumbo, once, once you cook that gumbo and it sit for like a day, and them crabs just sitting there, soak up all that, the spices and everything. Nice How many more you got here? Cool. Damn. Mm. Number white meat. Oh my God. Mm. From the back this time. I thought you take head first. I wonder what kind of snake is that. Y'all comment down in the uh, comments. Let me know what kind of snake that is. I'm 
I'm not familiar with snakes, but I like watching videos of them eating like big pigs and all that stuff. Oh, look at this one. Oh my God. This one juicy. Look at the big claw on this one. Big old claw. Y'all see that? It's full of that gumbo juice, spices. That white meat just come out of there too. Mm mm mm. With these sausages. Sausages tender. They tender. They been enough. Party time. Six rats. And I just realized I got a whole crab on the side of my plate that I didn't even put in the thing. And dropped it in the, in the juices or whatnot. They all hot. I got some more in the pot. Look at that. That white meat just hanging off of that. Mmm. Tender. Juicy. Seasoned. Hot, spicy. What about y'all? Like my gumbo spicy? I didn't talk about the last one. Mm -mm. Ah, it's hot. Some good too. Oh, For a little bit. See, now it was starting to be cold. Great thing is, I got some more in there. My shrimp, oh yeah. That was a waste of a claw. He gonna eat, what was it, six? He gonna eat six of them too? To the next, caught him sleeping. That's bad. Mm -mm -mm. Mm 
like a baby doll. Damn, I ain't got no more crackers. Come on now. Cheese on them. Sloppy now, y'all. Mm -hmm. Hands yeah, starting to get a little dirty. This getting a little dirty. Crowds poking out the side. I'm sure I took it off. Mm. I'll fix it right there. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna swallow that damn uh, fish thing. I feel like a scale, but it's not. You know the thing that be in the claw. I just need a cold drink. Now to the last, y'all. Damn bone. Nose running. Seafood gumbo with crab and shrimp. A little special recipe. Crab is so good on the second day. I don't even like touching them on the first day. They're good on the first day too, but that second day, if you're a real gumbo eater, then you know that, that, that gumbo on the second day be the best because that, that meat be soaked up all the juices and stuff. Exactly what happened right here. All them crabs around the bowl, on the plate. Hit. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Like, subscribe. Tune in for more videos like this, man. Let's go.